Jolly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing you this really bright, summery, um, neon nail art design, which hopefully that you really like. I'm going to be taking you through the steps. And obviously I am using Kiki London's Neon Vibes new gel polish collection. So these are the products I've already put on my nails. So this is a primer, so you just put a little bit on and that air dries. I've put a layer of rubber base coat on and cured that. And then I just put one layer of white polish on and cured that in the lamp as well. So this is Kiki London's brand new collection that came out last week, I think. Um, it's called Neon Vibes. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's definitely going to get you summer ready, um, you know, where your manis are involved. And obviously, um, if you want to see swatches of this collection then head over to kiki london's youtube channel where you can see swatches so you can see all of the colors properly but this video is about giving you some inspiration on how you can wear these absolutely stunning nail polishes so what i am doing with this is going to be um attempting like a gradient so i'm using raving doll and me lava and none of these nails have been cured yet because i'm going to be blending them together so I'm like putting them as close to the sort of colours together without obviously trying to contaminate too much. And then I am going to get a striping brush, nice thin striping brush. And basically I'm just sort of like dragging the colour over each other and moving it up and down the nail. Until I'm kind of happy that they've sort of blended into each other really nicely. I'm just bringing it in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So this actually set me up to fail. <laughs> because I did my non-dominant hand first. That's always what I do. Just to make sure I can I can definitely do what the design that I'm thinking on both hands. Um, and I did this. It was the very first nail that I did on my non-dominant hand. And the colours, they blended so beautifully together. And I was like... <gasps> I've just suddenly become better at blending gels. Great. I'm going to do that on all of my nails and my nails are going to look fabulous and I'm going to have a really great video. Then I attempted the next gradient and uh, it wasn't as successful. I mean, it's not terrible. And on this hand, I actually did the colours the wrong way around as well. But, you know, it's not a biggie. And that one I probably blended a little bit better. But... Um, I'm going to show you a different way that you can blend it on the thumbnail now. So I'm going to be uh, using Yellow Caution, which is this one here, which is so bright. I absolutely love it. And it really pops over that white base. So again, I'm just going to put that halfway, well, more than halfway down the nail, really. And then I'm coming in with Raving Doll at the bottom. And obviously what's great about these two colours is that when you mix together, you're going to create an orange as well. So I'm going to apply that roughly, get rid of those hairs. And I'm going to start off doing what I did with the other one where I got the striping brush and I just sort of start blending it out, trying to get the bulk out of the polish as well, which you'll get if you just sort of keep going over it, it sort of thins it out. And as you can see, these are really, really pigmented. I mean, look how far that orange has spread up the nail. Then I'm coming in with a fan brush. And basically, I'm just sort of like going back over, kind of almost like pushing down and separating the polish and just keep spreading it over. And you can see, bear in mind, this is gel polish and a fan brush. I'm hardly getting any of it on my skin as well. So you can do this even with gels, as you can see here. But obviously, make sure if you do get anything on your skin, you do remove it before you cure it in the lamp because it will cause lifting. And then for this nail, I'm going to be doing like a water marble hack because I can't do water marble in the conventional way. So this is my way of kind of getting the look. And actually, it's far less messier. So this may appeal. And obviously, with gel, manis, uh, gel polishes, it's going to last longer. So basically, I do get all six colours, even on my little stubby nails. I just sort of keep going round in, in a circle till all of the um, 
all of the colours have been added. But for the last layer, I kind of split it in half. So I kind of put pink on top and then I put the orange on the bottom. But I absolutely do love doing this type of mani. And what I'm showing you as well, it works even if you've got shorter nails. Obviously, if you've got longer nails, you can um, definitely get a bit more creative with it. It did take me a while to kind of get to this point. I'm going to be honest. I did try lots of different water marble techniques, but I just think it kind of would have looked better if I'd got it on my longer nails. Um, but thankfully, I got there in the end. So you can just see that this is like really, really easy. You just, you know, got to take your time, get a nice quality striping brush. And you can see like I'm hardly getting in any mess. Even though I'm going real close to the cuticle, real close to my side walls. Okay, so that is all of the colours cured, uh, not cured, sorry, that's all the colours applied. So I'm not, I'm still not curing it yet because obviously I've got to put that design in. So basically I'm going to just drag the brush into the middle. Do that to the other side. I am sort of, I am cleaning the brush off with each swipe as well. It just helps the mani just to stay nice and crisp and clean. And I'm going to turn around. I mean, you could just leave it like that super cool and then basically like i'm just like separating it into like sections as you can see here so i'm going from the cuticle down into the middle doing exactly the same the other side and i think because my nail's smaller i'm doing these quite close together just so you can kind of get more of that water marble effect and then i'm going from the free edge to the middle with the last section of the nails but this is such a cool, funky way to kind of blend your gels together as well and get that sort of water marble look. Isn't it super funky? Proper sort of like tie dye, psychedelic. With that one, I kind of had too much pink, at, so it kind of got a little bit out of shape. So I much, much prefer the one that I've just done. So I actually put this on before I should have. I should have done my next step first, which is adding the stamping details. And then because like I wanted like the rubber top coat because that's like, because it's thicker, it's more sort of versatile and will make my money last longer. I should have put that on over the stamping and then put the no, mat, no wipe matte top coat on over the top of that. But I'm, I just put this in to show you I'm using this product. I am telling you the order in which you should do it which is probably really confusing because <laughs> I'm doing the opposite of what I'm telling you to do but I really do love these rubber products I don't know if you've used them before I've only ever used Kiki London's and they are fantastic so I'm using a Moyu London mix and match plate which has got these really cool images on them so I'm going to be doing this sort of palm tree going down in size on my thumbnail and this is probably my favourite part of the money because of how the colours are blended together. Um, it kind of looks like, you know, a sunset in paradise. Um, so th that's basically what I am doing. So I'm going to put that right at the top of the nail. Then I'm using the middle tree and putting that just underneath. And then I'm finishing off with the littler one and placing that just underneath. I kind of just about got it on and a bit of the stem as well. But I just love that. Excuse me. Oops, sorry, knocking the camera. I just think it looks so pretty and proper, like summer money worthy. <laughs> and then um, for the blue and green gradient, I'm kind of just put chill over it. I just wanted it just, you know, subtle and simple. It was kind of like I wanted to bring it all together and I didn't want it to be too crazy. And then for the pinky, obviously the cocktails come out in summertime because they're just so yummy and perfect for when it's hot. And that's going on the pinky. And I decided to leave the index just as it is, just so you could see the gradient, just because that was the best gradient that I did. I didn't want to be covering that up. And that is it. So I'd love to know your thoughts. 
so I, I i am finishing it i'm going to show you here actually you can see a glossy and a matte finish now i do love the glossy finish but for pictures the matte is so much better because i find with glossy it can distort the image whereas with the matte because there's no shine no shine of my lights like distorts the image that i'm i'm trying to show you so i'd love to know your thoughts on this money if you uh, love it that much that you want to recreate it um even if it's just part of it then i would love to see that recreation so you can tag me in on instagram at jellylicious and i will share it on my uh, instagram stories um but just do you think this is summer money worthy what are your thoughts on the Kiki London's uh, new neon collection? Have you purchased it yet? Um, if you have, what are your thoughts? I'd love to, to kind of get some feedback. I absolutely love it. I love my neons anyway. I love super bright manis. Um, you know, I won't just wear them in summertime. I'll wear them in winter. Let's face it, we need them probably more in winter. In summer, the sun's out, everything's wonderful, life is so much better. <laughs> in the winter time, it's cold, it's grey, it's miserable. We want some nice bright colour to cheer us up. Um, so, yeah. This cuticle oil, by the way, by the way, is amazing. Like, I've already gone through one bottle with of it already. I've just opened up a new one. It is Well, it works fabulously for me. I know all skin types react differently, but for me, it's great. It properly keeps my nails um, nourished and healthy. So, as I've, like, already said, give me, you know... Let me know your thoughts on this money. Let me know your thoughts on this collection. If you're going to purchase it, please use the links provided in the description box below. And you can use my discount code, which is Jellylicious, for 10% off as well. But I would imagine this collection is probably going to be flying off the shelves. So make sure that you don't delay if you're going to go check it out. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please press that free subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.